What's up, everybody? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Fresh with a brand new haircut. A nice beard contouring. Looking pretty fly for a white guy. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Today, we will be talking about iteration. Okay, I will define that for you. I will tell why that is important to increase your skill level, both at pickup and game, at business, in the gym, or whatever other goals you may have. Okay, health, finances, etc. Okay, before we begin, please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Okay, I say that every fucking video, and I think guys start to like hear it like routine, like like and subscribe, like and subscribe. If you are watching this. All right, I put a lot of time in making these videos available. If you're watching this, you're getting value out of it. Take the two seconds, press the like button. If you are not subscribed and you want to get updates about when I am releasing new videos, okay, new valuable content that is going to help you, most of my videos are around 10 minutes. Anyone can spare that amount of time in a day. Press the subscribe button, press the notification bell so that you are alerted in your phone on notifications every time a new video comes up, okay? And YouTube just put out a thing to creators saying they just improve notification delivery and all this bullshit. There was bugs before. So that's why I want to mention that stuff. Okay, so iteration, what does this mean? Okay, I used to be a computer programmer and a UX designer, user experience, okay, user interface, software designer. And we would iterate, okay? We would start off making, well, first of all, we would go on a whiteboard, okay? We'd plot out ideas, for a, for a system or for, for some kind of concept, write them out on, whiteboard, on a whiteboard, go over different high level structure things, etc. Then you turn that into some mock-ups. Okay, now you're writing <clears throat> what they call low fidelity, basically just sketches of designs. Okay, and then you review them with the team and then you add a little bit to the sketch, you make it better and you keep, iteration means going through this process over and over. The, the formal definition is the repetition of a process or utterance, okay? Repetition of a mathematical or computational procedure applied to the result of a previous application, typically as a means of obtaining successfully closer approximations to the solution of a problem. So what it basically is, is the optimization process, okay? This is how I evolved and optimized my pickup and seduction system over the past decade. But how does this apply to you, okay? I've put out videos about goals, how you should have goals, not just with women, but with all areas of your life, okay? So give me some examples. If you have like some goals in the gym, okay, we'll start with that. All you have to do is track how much weight are you lifting for each exercise, okay? Then you go and do those lifts, and then the next week you track, basically the next time you do that set of body parts, you just move the weights up a little bit, okay? And by lifting progressively heavier weight, you're going to put on size, okay? It's like stacking paper plates. So this is how you can continue to improve any body area that's lagging behind, you can fix that. You can track your weight from week to week to make sure you are gaining weight. If you're not gaining weight, what can you do in this iterative process? You increase your calories, okay? And of course you need to adhere to proper macros. I wanna go into all the details of that. But you increase your calories so that now you're actually adding the weight that you're meaning to be adding. Okay, if you can't go up in weight on a given week lifted, that means you probably didn't have proper nutrition, rest, etc. But you can keep honing in, and it's actually fun to get these little mini victories. Okay, with business, you can have a core thing that's making you money, add a little thing, test it. it makes you more money, good, it sticks. Add a little thing, test it, good, it makes you more money, perfect. Okay, and you can keep expanding like this. So you have your core thing that's working, okay? And you just keep building upon it and fine tuning it and optimizing it. With health and longevity, I've talked in other videos about bioresonance scans. You can get a bioresonance scan and then you can um, find out your weak areas, target those either with supplements, with food, getting specific expert recommendations, okay? and then go and retest. Okay, I've fixed issues with this organ. Now I'm gonna focus on this organ. Or I've fixed issues with this system. Now I'm gonna go focus on this system. And you're iteratively improving and optimizing your health. Okay, and there's synergistic 
effects too. That's the other beautiful thing here. As you're um, fixing one organ that takes pressure off and that now other organs are performing better, so now your, your whole health is increasing. As you add in different processes into your business, now your brand is gaining strength and power. Okay, now you're, you know, the, the value to your customers is, is increasing. There's all these different synergistic effects as you measure these things and iteratively improve them. Okay, let's talk about how this relates to why we're all here on this channel, to dating, and to seduction. Okay, what you can do is you can look from start to finish, like where are your interactions simply breaking down? Where are your weak points? And this is what I've constantly done um, all throughout the game, even after banging a thousand chicks, even after banging my first hundred, my first 500, my first thousand, I'm still constantly scanning for weak spots. This is where I need to focus. This could be improved. This could be optimized. There's, I still have a whole bunch more ideas of ways to optimize things. Where it is currently, okay, like the system used to be delivering about 100 girls a year. Then it got to the point where it's, um, you know, I did 143 new in 2015. And then between 20, mid 2017, mid 2018, I was able to sleep with 245 new girls. But I still have a system that's working really well. And then I'm just making tweaks, testing, and then if the test goes good, then I, that sticks in the system, that becomes the new core, okay? And then you just keep bringing, and, and, and guys I know that are really successful with hedge funds, I know a guy in Puerto Rico that I invest a bunch of money with, and he's doing options hedge fund trading, okay? Um, with traditional stocks, there's just buying and selling. Um, with options, there's seven different ways to make money. And I'm not going to go into a whole financial discussion. But when he describes how he's built a system, it's been an iterative process with testing along the way. Okay, that it's been an evolutionary and optimizing process. He wasn't getting the returns he's getting now, years back. And that's because there were certain things that weren't perfected yet. Okay, the method, that's what's so cool about forming methods and systems and leveling up, so to speak, in these different areas that I've spoke about in the video. It was making money, and the, the method that he has today existed back then if he had figured it out sooner. Same as back in early, the early days where I was figuring out the stuff in game. If I knew, like then, what I know now, I, I would have banged multiple thousands of girls already, okay? Um, but that's the whole fun of this, right? You don't just go from like skinny dude to jacked. You don't just go from poor to rich. You don't just go from like low value beta loser to cool alpha player. Okay. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So in, you know, I talked about martial arts yesterday. It's the same thing there. Okay. You're adding new techniques to your repertoire. You are in there having a synergistic effect as you get into situations where now you're doing a stand up move followed by a ground move. Okay. And you can keep adding these things, perfecting them. So what, you know, I'm talking about a lot of different areas here, but, but the basic principle is make goals in the important areas of your life, whether that be finances, business, women, fitness, health. Okay. Those are just some examples. And the way that you approach those goals, I'm going back to the definition, repetition of a procedure. Okay. Utilizing information and results of the previous application. Okay. And you're obtaining successfully closer approximations to like the ideal solution. All right. But since, you know, you're never going to have like the perfect physique or be like, you know, the richest man in the world, you know, or, uh, get every single girl you talk to, but you can get into that. You can strive to be in the top 10%. You can strive to be in the top 5%. You can strive to, top be, to be in the top 1%. And it's very rewarding and it's very satisfying. Okay, There's no honor and dignity in, in living an average, boring life. Okay, I strove at this particular field to be the best guy at this. Okay, And I firmly believe that I have become the best guy. And that's backed up by the results for myself and my coaching abilities and the results my students get. But strive to be the best whatever whatever it is that you're passionate about in life okay don't accept half measures okay you can stagnate from week to week at the gym you can not be increasing the amount of weights you're lifting okay and then you're not going to have progress 
you can stop trying to improve your business or stop trying to make more money, okay? And then you're just gonna stagnate. You can stop trying to improve your health and it's just going to stay flat and or deteriorate. And why not look good, feel good, have good money, okay? Have the fucking hot women, the cool friends, the cool life, the cool travel experience. All this stuff is synergistically possible on a macro level by applying uh, rigorous, dedicated and determined iteration on a more micro level across all these other areas, okay? And then they, they behave synergistically, both in their modular respective areas and then summing up total, okay? And tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna put out a video about happiness, but I think this is like the key to happiness. And I'll give you a little, a little preview. Frederick Nietzsche says, and I need to find the exact quote for the video tomorrow, but he says something along the lines of, happiness is the, f is the feeling that power is growing that resistance is being overcome, okay? And that's a fucking beautiful quote, and it really applies here, okay? Like, when you are seeing your results increase, okay, over time with women, when you're seeing your financial situation increase over time, um, when you're getting more girls and hotter girls, okay, et cetera, et cetera, when, when you're making you know, gains with martial arts and the gym and all this stuff. This is, this is really cool shit. Okay. So, you know, I will leave you with don't, and don't just blow this fucking video off either. Like this all sounds like a whole bunch of like, yeah, like grandiose things. And then you just go back to being a fucking boring average person. No, write down, maybe right after this video is over, write down your top five goals. Okay. Your top, your top five areas. What are the top five most important things to you? Okay. For me, it's probably health, women, uh, family and friends, you know, having the freedom to do what I want, and then like business and financial freedom, that kind of stuff. Um, but I also have goals in the gym and goals with martial arts. But pick these core areas and make roadmaps and plans to iterate and then measure, you know, measure the results that are coming in, add those things to your core, and then keep expanding. Okay, and if you hit a point of stagnation, then you need an expert or a trainer in that particular field or a mentor that can help you break through the plateau and rise to new heights, okay? Please like and subscribe below if you have not already. Um, I kinda like this new haircut. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Oh, and I forgot to uh, thank everyone for hitting. We hit 7,000 subscribers. Hurrah. Now I'm just 200 away from uh, Viking lifestyle and the Bexter lifestyle. Two formidable opponents. Okay. All right. Take care. Everybody.